scientists from all over the world are trying to figure out what caused a mysterious blue light to spiral in the sky over Norway on Wednesday. As UFO sightings go, this one was as good or as weird as it gets. A light appearing high in the Arctic sky, baffling those who saw it and exciting a lot of comment. Early yesterday morning, just before dawn, this appeared in the Norwegian sky. A blue light, small at first, growing into a spiral and then disappearing into what appeared to be a black hole. In the northern community of Trondelag and on a Norwegian military base, cell phones snapped, video cameras rolled, and bloggers got busy. Within hours of the crash of Roswell, U.S. General Nathan Twine designated the, vision, the visitors rather, as enemy aliens. It appears from his book that Colonel Corso agreed with that assessment and that it has remained as official U.S. policy ever since. At that time, however, it was an enemy, quote unquote, about which the U.S. could do nothing because the visitors were so technologically superior. That led to the recommendation that the discovery be treated with the utmost secrecy. To the point that the crash of Roswell didn't happen and that UFOs don't exist. The rationale was that the ordinary public couldn't cope with the news and might easily panic. Major sighting here on the 13th of March. Weird happenings in the skies over Phoenix recently. And no one seems to be able to explain what it was. And now, suddenly six amber orbs in a row, totally equidistant from each other, massive span across, pop up. People say they saw strange lights. A series of strange bright lights seen over the skies of Arizona gets a lot of people wondering what the heck they there's going to be a time where they're not going to be able to hide it anymore. The availability of witnesses was extraordinary. There are another 10,000 Arizonans who saw the same thing. Eyewitnesses who saw it say it's like nothing they've ever seen before. The truth is out.